I would say that one of the most authoritarian and creepy platforms of the internet has to be Twitch. The way it bans people is absolutely horrifying. I remember a couple of years ago, there was this guy who was live streaming from his car and he gets carjacked. Like, like someone pulls a gun on him. Obviously, he didn't expect it. Gets shot and he gets banned from Twitch for community guideline violation because he showed a firearm on his live stream. And the thing is, like, the guy wasn't faking it. It wasn't a bit. Like, he showed the hospital bill as he went under surgery. Uh, and when he needed money the most in order to pay for those medical bills, uh, Twitch decided to ban him. Uh, Twitch bans you for stuff that people say in your chat. Like, it is bad shit and saying... See, here on YouTube, if you say something uh, with the speech of hate... <laughs> In my comment section, you, you get banned yourself. Like, they have ways of, of uh, using algorithm and reports. And, and you're responsible for the stuff you say. Like, I, as a content creator, cannot possibly be responsible for what other people say. But on Twitch, you are. So, like, if you have people in your chat that are acting disrespectful, uh, you can get banned. Right? Like, they're banning emojis. It, it, it's absolutely ridiculous. And... Um, Many people are saying that it makes no sense with some of the bans. Uh, like, for instance, uh, a couple of years ago, they decided to ban twerking emotes. However, uh, they still allowed people to do the bathtub meta. So, so, like, a real woman is fine, right? Like, someone's daughter that is in her bikinis in a bathtub with, with the specific purpose of being titillating and arousing, like, that is fine. However, uh, what is not fine is to have an emote, right? Like a cartoon is not fine. Does that make any sense? No. So many people were pointing out that uh, th th this is very bizarre and very weird. Now, my take on this is that there's two possible interpretations. Uh, number one, the people in charge on Twitch uh, are completely mentally insane. Like they have no rhyme. They have no reason uh, they ban something that they want and leave something else that's worse and vice versa. Uh, th that is a possibility. I mean, I have seen some of the moderators on Twitch. I, I, I have saw what they're posting on Twitter. So them being uh, mentally ill, it it's not that far of a fetch. You know, it doesn't take much for the imagination for me to make that leap in logic. But then there is also the other possibility. And, and that is that most of the censorship, or at least some of it, is happening due to the advertisers. Because, like, this is very interesting regarding twerking. Like, for instance, on YouTube, um, you're not allowed to show nudity. Like, any type of nudity on YouTube is haram. Even the smallest type, even, even from video games, fictional nudity. I have seen people getting banned for showing statues or, or getting banned for uh, showing clips from popular movies. Uh, atheism is unstoppable, for instance, got his account shot down because uh, he showed the clip from Jesus of Nazareth. And as they're crucifying Jesus, you can see Jesus' ass. And apparently that was flagged as nudity and deleted his channel. He had to make an appeal. So, like, YouTube is incredibly strict when it comes to nudity. But, apparently, if you do naked yoga, it's fine. Like, it's even in their terms of service. They, they absolutely state that, yeah, you can't you can do naked yoga. Like, that that's okay. And you're looking at the people who do the naked yoga, and they know exactly what they are doing. It's not that they want to do yoga and, and view themselves on you. No, it's like the, the camera angles. Like, it's, it's absolutely obvious what what they are doing there. And there's no reason for this. Like, I, I genuinely cannot fathom as to why that is. Another thing on YouTube is, like, things that sexualize minors, right? So, like, any, any type of sexualization of minors, definitely haram. Unless... It's about twerking, right? So, like, if it's dances and twerking, like, that that now seems to be more acceptable. And I'm like, but why, though? You know, like, what, what is up with twerking? Like, twerking seems to be the thing that is now more and more allowed on various platforms. Because now I see it on Twitch with the emotes. And it's like, the only explanation that I can have is that someone else is pulling the strings. Like, like there are some advertisers that probably formed the union in order to demand the type of content that can exist on platforms. And there may be negotiations with these unions. And, and obviously, like, the platforms want to allow more stuff while the advertisers don't. 
And every now and then you get like these uh, breakthroughs where they're like, okay, well, fine, like have twerking. And, you know, th th that's how I think goes. Like, I, I can't really explain it any other way because you see it across platforms. It's not, it's not just on Twitch. It's not just on YouTube. Like when one allows something, the others allow it as well. And usually it's within minutes of each other, you know, of making the announcement. So, so that's the bizarre thing. And I think that makes sense. Now, now, regarding the emotes, well, obviously, given how many VTubers there are, you're going to see some really lewd emotes. Like like some really lewd anime girls do, doing the twerking and stuff. I do gotta say, though, like, my God, the, the amount of censorship on Twitch, I, I don't even know how new people do it. L like, do you need to learn an entire compendium in order to figure out what's allowed and what isn't? Because the thing is, like, on YouTube, you kind of do. Like, on YouTube, they have an entire school which lectures you about what type of content is allowed that is it that it's not just like copyright material that that you gotta learn on on what you can and can't show on the channel but it's also terms of service and my god there are so many of them now, now this is youtube right and youtube has a couple but when you go on twitch it's fucking insane it's like, it's like 10 times worse and not ironically like if things continue four years from now you you may actually have to attend the university in order to learn how to be a streamer so that you can learn all of the terms of service and all of the intricacies and what you're allowed and not allowed to do. Maybe there's going to be actual professions like uh, proofreaders, you know, but for streamers. And and they get to see, oh, let me see what emotes you got. Let me see what content you got. Nah, this one doesn't look too good. But yeah, it, it is what it is. I, uh, I do think that the reason so many people want lewdness on Twitch is because it's banned. Like, obviously, you can set up an OnlyFans page, but the problem is that you'd have to compete with all the other women that are there, right? So, like, the competition is very tough. Meanwhile, if you manage to stand out on a family-friendly platform just enough so you can convince viewers to, to follow you on the other social media websites, it is profitable. So that's why you keep seeing, like, all these girls breaking the meta on Twitch, right? Because it doesn't really make sense. It's like, why why are they... Showing breasts covered only by a censorship bar. Like, what, what is up with that? Why can't they just go on OnlyFans? And, and the answer is, they absolutely know that by doing this, people will talk about it. So, like, their brand increases. And they also know that by doing this, eventually they get banned. But until then, they can farm a big enough community and then transition them over to their other websites. So, so this is why you keep seeing people trying to break the nudity rules on Twitch. Uh, YouTube is a lot more strict, though. Like, YouTube just doesn't tolerate any of that nonsense. So that's why you don't see it done on this platform. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. And if you want to support the channel, there's a link into the pinned comment that will take you to my subscribe star. And another link that will take you over to my live stream. So hopefully I'll see you guys there. And until later, take care.